Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Silvi. The speaker, um, thank you to the members for the support. Mr. Speaker, it's important that we reiterate that what we're removing is VAT. We're removing VAT on these goods. The 12.5% that was paid on these goods, we are removing VAT. So when it's imported, you do not have to pay the 12.5% on VAT. So if, that is very important, Mr. Speaker. Not only duties, not duties, not only duties, but VAT, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I just want to make a point. Mr. Speaker, any time I make any statement related, related to health, and I'm glad the Minister of Health encouraged you to take a test, Mr. Speaker. There are some people in this country who are trying to, in wanting to get cheap political mileage. Mr. Speaker, I am what I am, and I will be what I will be. And, and regardless of how you try, to make me appear to be what I'm not. It will not stick. It has not stick, Mr. Speaker, and it will not speak. So it's, it's actually a waste of energy and time, Mr. Speaker. I recall, Mr. Speaker, I made a statement about bananas. And they went berserk. And you know you what happened, Mr. Speaker? Bananas became the word of the day. All sorts of recipes, all sorts of investment. But you know, in the beginning, they tried to, they tried to make me look as if, I didn't know what I was saying, Mr. Speaker. They try that all the time, and they lose, but they continue to try. Last week, I made a statement about eating, Mr. Speaker, and about eating, about diet, about diet, so significant, about diet, Mr. Speaker. And I made a, a joke about how I changed my diet, Mr. Speaker, and how I look now, and my colleague uh, uh, encouraged me to be on the jig, what machine? What, 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 what magazine? And I tell Mr. Speaker, eat what you watch, eat, watch what you eat, and eat what you watch. Very simple. Re-emphasizing, watch what you eat, and what you eat and watch it. Very simple, Mr. Speaker. But you know, they're so desperate, and they're looking for so much drama to exist. But that, that, that's not going to win you anything, Mr. Speaker. The people's solution understand what we're doing. Look at what we're doing this morning. We're taking off VAT from equipment. So they understand that. So even though you believe that you scored cheap points by trying to divert from these points, Mr. Speaker, I reiterate, people must watch what they eat and eat what they watch. So if you want to, if you want to make more publisher, if it, try. <laughs> But the people of St. Lucia will not be moved. They have not been moved, Mr. Speaker. My record is clear. My performance in my constituency and my performance as Minister of Finance and Prime Minister is clear. So no matter how you try to, to believe that you can make me look small, Mr. I am a product of St. Lucia. And no matter what you try, you're not, going to, you're not going to succeed. Once God is with me, and the people are with me, and my, and my colleagues support me, collectively, we are going to improve the life of the people of St. Lucia. Collectively, Mr. Speaker. And next week, Sunday, it's going to be two years the people of St. Lucia have lived without scandals. They've lived without shut up. They live without being called barking dogs. They've lived without being called medicants. They've lived because, without scandals, your sisters signing contracts. So today, today, this resolution is testimony of what the government is doing for the people of St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. And I call on the people of St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker, regardless of whether you're yellow or red, to support the government in these ventures. Forget about people who can afford to get their medical attention abroad. Forget about people who can take helicopters and go abroad to bring their children and their parents for medical equipment, for, for medical care. You can't afford it. So when we try to, to change St. Jude, to finish St. Jude, when we try to get the NIC to put more money at the OKE hospital, when we're trying to improve the conditions at the AKU hospital, when we send children of people who live in Fulashow and Mondidon and, and, and Chozel and Bouton. When you transfer them to study, to be doctors and nurses, that's what we're doing for health in the country. That's what we're doing. And you can't deny that. 
So imagine for your own selfish political reasons, you try your best to diminish that. I spoke about cassava. Cassava is a health food, a superfood. Make a nonsense. As, oh, I'm talking nonsense. We're trying to make people use honey instead of sugar. We're trying to push CMOS, Mr. Speaker. Health. The minister is talking about getting your, your health test, Mr. Speaker. So anytime we come in this honorable house and we say something about the health of the people, something to progress, to make people have a better quality of life, particularly the people who can't afford to go abroad to get medical attention, they make a publish with it. They try to make a publish with it, Mr. Speaker. So I'm going to say it again. Eat your local foods. Try and use your local bananas, your local cassava, your vegetables, your lettuce, your cabbage, your tomatoes, your fruits. Eh? Exercise. And watch what you eat and eat what you watch. And if you don't like it, uh, Mr. Speaker, this res I ask members to support this resolution to remove VAT from medical equipment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.